Hey guys, it's Michael. I have a quick update for you on the second stimulus check and second stimulus package. In today's video, we're going to go over how earlier in the day I announced how Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell unveiled a new stimulus package and how he announced plans that they will be voting on this bill later this week, perhaps tomorrow on Thursday. However, in a joint statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer trashed the bill saying it's laden with poison pills. Republicans, no Democrats, would never support it and it is headed nowhere. Then we're going to get into how Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell responded to these comments from Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and he spoke about what they are going to do to get this second stimulus package passed and what is holding it up. And finally, we are going to go over how White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow spoke out and told reporters yesterday on Tuesday that he advised Democrats to support the Senate's targeted stimulus bill and how we needed to help the economy moving forward. But before we get started, it would really mean a lot if you could like the video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to do so. It currently says that 50% of you watching are not subscribed to my channel. So if you'd like to stay up to date on what is going on with the second stimulus check, second stimulus package, as well as other news updates, well then please be sure to subscribe. In addition, you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Weeble investing app using the link down below and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app as well. So, as I announced in my previous videos, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell unveiled a new stimulus package yesterday on Tuesday, and he announced plans that they will be voting on this bill perhaps tomorrow or later this week. If you haven't seen my video on that, I'll link it down below. In a tweet on Tuesday after Mitch McConnell introduced the bill, Nancy Pelosi said it's been 116 days since the House passed the HEROES Act and Senate GOP are finally waking up to the damage their decision to take a pause has caused in communities nationwide. Republicans must stop blocking efforts to pass the policies included in the HEROES Act into law. In addition, in a joint statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, they trashed this new bill proposed by Mitch McConnell, saying it's laden with poison pills. Republicans, no Democrats, would never support it, and it is headed nowhere. Speaker of the House Pelosi says it's only to check the box so that some of his endangered Republican senators who are at risk of losing re-election in the coming months can go home and say, well, see, I tried. But ultimately, she said it isn't trying. It's not even an attempt to do the right thing. This bill doesn't include nearly enough for what the American people need. So even if this bill is to pass, according to Nancy Pelosi, this piece of legislation would not make it pass the House, since that would require support from Democrats and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called this bill pathetic. They explained how McConnell has struggled to even unite Republicans behind this bill and is likely to suffer some GOP defections. That not all Republicans in the Senate will vote yes for this bill. But while Democrats say the bill does not do enough for the American people, Republicans say any chance of getting help has been stopped by the Democrats. They're both just blaming each other. In response to what Nancy Pelosi said, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell blamed Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer for what he sees as a lack of bipartisan effort in getting a second stimulus bill approved. In a statement released on Twitter, McConnell said that Democrats don't want American families to see any more bipartisan aid before the polls close on President Trump's re-election. They have taken America's health, jobs and schools hostage for a perceived partisan gain and to help with elections later in the year. He explained how everything Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer have done suggests one simple motivation, that they do not want American families to see any more bipartisan aid before the election. In addition to this, Mitch McConnell goes on to explain how Senate Republicans have been trying for months to deliver more virus relief to American families and that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have blocked their efforts at every turn. They're simply sticking to a $2.2 trillion package. They're not willing to budge at all. McConnell goes on to say that the proposal he introduced yesterday illustrates that Republicans are making an effort to keep trying to push through a new wave of direct stimulus for the economy despite Democratic opposition and despite Democrats keep shutting them down. And finally, White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow said approving more stimulus is not necessary, but it would be extremely helpful for the economies. While speaking to reporters on Tuesday, he advised Democrats to support the Senate's 
targeted stimulus bill. This came after Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer reiterated that they do not support the package because it does not include their spending demands and the price tag is much too low. Cudlow goes on to say how if Democrats and Republicans can find five or six things to agree on, well then let's just do that, that's all. They should get that bill passed. He also noted that the economy is expected to grow 20% in the third quarter this year and we're expected to have a strong V-shaped recovery regardless of whether Democrats agree to passing more stimulus or if we don't pass more stimulus at all. The White House economic advisor said earlier in the interview that he believes it's very plausible the U.S. could add tens of millions of more jobs over the next 10 months because he said the country has picked up almost 11 million jobs per month over the last four months. So ultimately what he said with regards to stimulus, that in terms of another targeted $1,200 stimulus check for Americans, that would be great, he said. And he said, we've always wanted to help the kids with schools reopening and getting people back their jobs. So he says he's urging Democrats to agree on this more targeted bill and they need to pass another $1,200 check. He's saying it's not necessary for the economy to recover, but it would definitely help out a lot. So anyways, that is just a quick update on the second stimulus check and second stimulus package. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.